available now to anyone that wants them. <clears throat> the bride's first confession in the Song of Solomon was in chapter 1, verse 5. She says, I'm dark in heart, but I'm lovely to God. In other words, she was beginning to uh, have confidence before God, even in her weakness. In her spiritual immaturity, she understood God saw her as beautiful through the cross of Jesus so that she could be weak in her brokenness. Now, I mean, she could have confidence in her weakness and brokenness that God was delighting in her while she was maturing. But here is her second confession. It is far it's a far greater revelation. She's not saying, I have confidence in mercy when I fail. This is a far greater thing. She goes, I know who I am. I understand my identity. I understand my life purpose. I know why I exist. I know why I'm on the earth now. That's what she's declaring when she says, I am the rose and I am the lily. Some uh, commentators say that Jesus is the rose of Sharon. It is clearly the bride of Christ is the rose and the lily. Evidenced by the very fact in chapter 2, verse 2, I have already looked at the verse, Jesus affirms to her that she is the lily. And the rose and the lily are clearly the same person or the same people. Paragraph I, Ephesians 1, 17. The most prayed, the most used prayer at IHOP. That the Father of glory would give us a spirit, a spirit of revelation. Why? Well, it's for three things, but we're only going to look at one. That it takes the spirit of revelation that we would know the wealth of the glory of being Jesus' inheritance. Beloved, when we see the wealth of this reality, this revelation, it radically reorders our inner life. The problem is that many people... Their main vision in life is something they're going to do or something they're going to have. They're going to have a big house or a big ministry or be known or they're going to have fun or do things or have things when we can never understand the mystery of our own dilemma in, and struggle in this world until we understand the revelation that our primary reason for existing is to be the inheritance of Jesus, to be loved and to be a lover. <clears throat> 